What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's CT here and today I'm back with another video for you guys. And today we're going to film like a holiday inspired look, kind of like a Christmas themed look. So that's what we're going for. Like I am in such a good mood today. One, because look, <laughs> I'm actually in my setup like, ah, oh, yes. But also I love Christmas. Like this is just my favorite time of the year. So I am choosing to be in a good mood all month. Nothing is gonna put me in a, in a bad mood this month. Like I refuse to be in a bad mood. Anyways, so <laughs> enough talking. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my brows. You guys, I didn't do my brows yet. This is probably one of the few times that you'd see me come on without doing my brows. So just go ahead and start with that. And today I actually wanna go for more of like a glowy, dewy look as opposed to like my matte looks like i hope we can achieve that because i was just thinking i was like i feel like i don't even know how to get a good glowy like look without it just you know being oily because i do have oily combination skin so i really want to challenge myself to try to get that today so let's see we'll see how what we come up with um i am still going to keep my brows pretty matte though because even though i want a glowy base i don't want oily brows because that's just what's gonna happen so i'm just still gonna go ahead and powder down my brows the way i would even um if i was going for a matte base so i'm just gonna powder down you don't need any specific type of powder for this this is just my this is my huda beauty powder but you don't need any specific type of powder Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately. Okay, so brows are done. I'm just going over it with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Then we're gonna move on to the eyes. You know, I started this, <laughs> I started this video with the intention to do something very simple, very, very simple in the eyes. But then I'm probably not, that's probably not going to be the case. All right, I'm just priming with my um, P. Louise eyeshadow base. Are you guys celebrating Christmas this year? Like, it's even weird to ask, like, are you celebrating Christmas? But I just know, like, with everything that's been going on, like, this year has just been a lot. Like, I won't, I'm not even going to say that I am, like, celebrating, celebrating Christmas. But I just want to, like, do things that make me happy. I just want to keep myself in, like, a good mood, like, all month long. So it's not even, like, as far as gifts, I don't even know that I'm buying gifts for, like, that many people honestly maybe I'll, I'll buy gifts for like one person or two people like literally but i just don't want to be i just don't want christmas to like not be christmas you know like christmas needs to be christmas what i've noticed with this base is that anytime i like kind of apply it on my lid the way i just did and then i go in with my brush this brush like soaks a lot of product like takes away a lot of products because I feel like I put on more than what I'm getting right now. All right, I'm going to start with this Juvia's Place Zulu eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna grab this well-loved brown shade in here and just kind of start with that and see where that takes us. If you've never heard me say it before, this is my absolute favorite brown shade of all time. Like. It's just the perfect, perfect shade of brown. It's like, it's warm. It's just my perfect, my, my favorite brown shade of all time. I'm not even gonna do a cut crease. You know what? Ugh. I wish I decided that earlier, but okay, that's fine. I'm not even gonna do a cut crease. Let's do something else. So because I'm not doing a cut crease, I'm going to keep this open. Because you guys know it. When I'm doing a cut crease, I'll bring this brown shade all the way in here. But I'm not going to do a cut. So 
we'll just keep that like that. Okay, so to blend out that first shade, I'm gonna grab this orange shade from the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. And I'm just gonna grab that on my brush. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people pleased. But this is my favorite holiday. It's a chance to start over new. Cause I missed you, so I'm letting go of everything. I'm just grabbing this shade, Katsina, and These I'm just setting my brow bone with that. Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Is mm -hmm. One thing that I forget with the shadow, I yeah, I think it's this one. It does not quite layer well. I think I remember having that issue with it. I don't like what it's doing over here. Like, I don't, I don't know why it's doing that. And I think, yeah, I think I remember that. Like, I love this. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Come on, don't do that to me. How is it supposed to be making our Christmas memories? Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. I'm just gonna add more of the orange. I think it's blending it out. Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been I'm just gonna add some more. I see that because what I had there before was pretty much it's pretty much dry now. Oh. And you see how using this brush, this is what I, this is what I was talking about earlier. Using this brush actually keeps the concealer wet. Like the concealer is it's not soaking it, um, in so much of the product, and the concealer is staying like the base is staying like wet. But the other brush just soaks up all of the product. Sun comes up. These are the good times with you, baby. This year is just gonna be you and me. Hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this? What I'm gonna do is just add back some of that brown. Okay, and then on my lid, I actually want to do something more on the silver. Ooh, dang, I keep hurting myself. I actually want to do something more on the silver side on my lid. So I'm going to grab this shade Iman and I'm going to place that all. Actually, I'm going to start in the middle in here, yeah. And I'm using a fluffy brush for this because I don't want a defined like line in here. So that's why I'm using a fluffy brush. Wow, I love that shade. So I'm actually gonna grab some of this shade. Ooh, ooh, that's a pretty shade. All right, I'm just gonna place some of it right there. Okay, so far so good. So I actually think I want to add how red is it okay that's looking red i actually want to add a liner um but i'm not gonna do i don't want to do a wing liner but i think i'm gonna add like a liner on my lid and i'm gonna do <laughs> i keep thinking 
thinking about it, I'm like, I hope I don't ruin it by doing this, but I do want to try, try it. Hey, if I don't like it, I'll just do it all over again. Okay, I actually like that. This is the ColourPop, um, what is it? Liquid liner in Try Me. Okay, actually, I actually like that. All right, let's go ahead and pop on a pair of falsies. This is um, this pair is from Dorella Cosmetics, and it's in Lash Style Fabulous. And that's what it looks like. I have worn this pair like so many times. It's how it is supposed to be, making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this? I think I want to add some. Some um, what is it? Some of this ColourPop glitterly, glitterly obsessed um, shadows. So, <laughs> TT. Whenever I start doing too much, is when I'm just like, you should have stopped. But I'm trying to decide what shade I want to add. Ow! These nails. Next time, I don't think I'm gonna do stiletto uh, tips because. It kind of hurts. Mm, I feel like this one might, this one might take a like, might take this look in an, another direction. So not that. This gold one is cute, but also it probably will take the look in another direction. In another direction. So not that. This one I feel like is the safest because it's like, it's it has like it's kind of silver. It has like specks of gold in it, but not too much. So this one is a good choice. It probably all even looks the same on camera. You guys are just like, what do you, what's the difference? Uh, this one would definitely take a look in another direction. This one is just silver and I feel like if I put that on here, it might just, you know what? Let me just do, okay, this is a second choice. This one is a, ah! hey, Titi, maybe that's a sign not to do it. Okay, I think those would be my possible choices. <sighs> okay, so I decided on this one. This is Roller Disco to 20K1. And this is what it looks like. So, <laughs> here goes nothing. Hey, what did I say? <laughs> what did I say? Okay, I actually didn't say anything, but <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I decided to add that little detail. Okay, we are now officially done with the eyes. Let's go ahead. Yeah, with the eyes. Let's go ahead and move on to the face. And wow. You know when I actually like, I actually intended to do something like this and that's what I got. That's, I just love that. I just, I love that. I'm literally out of my favorite lip balm. All right, so on to the face, like I said. So I'm gonna start by priming slash moisturizing with this, um, where is it? The NYX Moisture, NYX, no. <laughs> Let's try this again. I, I'm going to start by moisturizing with this NYX Moisture. Why do I keep saying NYX? I'm going to start by moisturizing with this e.l.f. Cosmetics Moisture Lock Primer. So this is actually a primer and a moisturizer hybrid. So it's a primer moisturizer hi um, in one. Primer moisturizer in one. Okay. And I'm using this primer. I decided to use this primer today because... Like I said, it's a primer and moisturizer in one. 
and it doesn't it doesn't do so much of like drying out my skin like it doesn't super mattify my skin but at the same time it doesn't leave my skin feeling greasy or oily or any of that and i just think it's going to be perfect today especially because i do intend to layer another primer on top of it um i don't want to moisturize too much either because um i am i do have oily skin like i said and as much as i want to go for a dewy glowy base today i still need to humble myself and remember that i have oily skin or i have combination skin and that could easily go south so i still need to think about you know the choices that i'm making with the products that i'm picking you know t today so we'll start with this one so next i'm going to go in with this benefit cosmetics professional pearl primer i don't think i've actually ever used this primer. maybe i have i can't remember anyways so it's a soft radiance face primer to minimize the look of pores and it's all free lightweight silky um soft pink so in my mind i'm thinking it is you know a pearl primer it does have um that smoothing effect that it's, well, it's supposed to have that smoothing effect so this should work but it's also not a mattifying primer so i'm just gonna try to focus that one um not all over my face so much, but like right here on my cheeks and my forehead and my chin area. So the first one, I just want to make sure that one is like in. They actually kind of have the same consistency. Oh, this one definitely fills in the pores. Like, I can't... Ah, why don't I use this primer? Like, I've had this primer for a minute. I can definitely tell that it's poor feeling, for sure. And I can see what they mean by the soft radiance. I kind of feel like it has, like, little specks of, like, glitter or shimmer or something in it. Or maybe it's stuff that was already on my brush. I don't know. I really, hope, I really hope that I get exactly what I'm looking for with this base today. I've never tried this base routine, so I can't even tell you guys if it's going to make sense. But we'll find out soon enough. Should I put some on my nose? Mm, you know, maybe not. Maybe not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix in my Huda Beauty foundation with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Glow in the shade Bronze. And I'll just kind of see what that gives me. Huda Beauty foundation is a matte foundation, but this, um, the glow I'm hoping is going to give it kind of that luminize, illuminizing finish, that bronzy finish. So I'm just going to mix both in together. Didn't want to mix it too much. That's what I have with the mix. I can still tell this foundation is matte because learning it out is like not the easiest. Actually, that's very patchy. Hmm. Wow, that's this is kind of like a fail. <laughs> this is kind of like a fail. I think. I mean, it's like, I feel like the foundation is even a little bit more matte than normal. Like. All right, I'm gonna have to add more foundation and use it to blend out this patchy blend, so. I didn't mean to wear that much foundation, but at this point, I don't have a choice. Hmm. 
and this is a learning experience i guess so you guys if you ever have um what is it if at any point any of your products feel like it's too dry or it's too matte just add more and blend it out with that right away so you see how adding more helps me blend that better i'm gonna have to add more on the other side too Hmm. Right now, this base is looking very, very matte. Very matte. I'm not seeing any. I'm not seeing any dewy, any dewy going on. And I'm just laughing at myself because I really try. Like I've been, I did so much. So I don't know. I really don't know. But <laughs> this is the Milani Make It Dewy Setting Spray. So I'm gonna spray this on and see what it does. Like, see, you see how this looks like right now? This is actually kind of what I wanted my foundation to look like. So I guess using that matte foundation was just like, I should never have tried that. Probably should have tried shaking this first. I know I haven't used it in like a long time. Is it even still the, yeah, it's definitely still in it. So I guess not to use, I just figured if I was gonna add in the liquid glow, it would kind of balance it out and make it not so matte, but that was a mistake, so. Lessons learned, do not use a super, super matte foundation like this um, if you are trying to go for a dewy base. So, all right, well, I think the spray actually is doing something like, okay, oh, Lord. Okay, so for concealers, I'm not even gonna play myself and try to use a matte concealer because one thing I'm still gonna do is set my face with a setting powder. I'm still gonna bake my face regardless. So I'm just gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow concealers and contour and highlight with that. And this is not a matte finish concealer. So hopefully you should get me closer to where I wanna be. Like, you guys, I seriously don't understand why my base is, like, so matte. Even I even applying this concealer on, like, it's drying down so fast. Like, could it be that um, foundation that's doing this much? Like, I seriously don't understand. And I'm actually... I'm so, sh I'm so surprised. Of course, it would be on the day that I'm like, I'm going for a dewy glowy face <laughs> oh my goodness making our christmas memories i've been working so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people please But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't I'm gonna spray my face with this Morphe Lumina setting spray Just to kind of wake it up a little bit now for the lip <laughs> i just feel like i did so much to arrive at like my regular look like my regular base i don't think this is very different from what i would normally do but This lip liner is from ColourPop, and this is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Girl. 
All right, and then I'm gonna wear, and then I'm gonna wear the ColourPop Leapy Sticks in the shade Trust Me. This lippy pencil is so creamy. Like it's going on so creamy on. And this shade, okay. <laughs> Trust me, I'm usually very, very picky with reds, but this red, this red, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> TT, you need to start up. I can't even. Just you and nobody else. It's so good to see you again. Okay, you guys, so this is my finished look. Um, you guys should have already known that the chances of me leaving that lip matte and just um, just with one shade like that are like slim to none. <laughs> so I actually went in and I um, applied some of this L'Oreal Matte Lip in 808. It's a very cool toned um, nude lip and I just applied some of, it, some of that in the middle. And then I also topped it up with my Revlon Clear Gloss and that's what I have going on over here. The eye look, I like how it came together. Um, I also went in and I sprayed this Milani Make It Dewy setting spray off camera um, because the base was just still looking too matte for me. It, it looked even almost too matte, like more matte than I, I was like, I'm used to. So I sprayed this on and this brought some life back to it. I like what it looks like right now. But then I was thinking to myself, honestly, I could have started with this, sprayed this on as like a primer spray, done my regular foundation routine and then sprayed this on after as a setting spray. And I probably would have gotten the dewy look that I was looking for. So I'm definitely going to try that again another day. Um, that's something to keep in mind. And um, yeah, I don't think anything else. Yeah, the main shocker for me was how the foundation still went on so matte. I guess the foundation is just a matte foundation regardless of what you put underneath it. Because it was just so matte. It's like I was stressed trying to blend out that foundation. But I think it came together nicely. You guys be sure to let me know what you think. Leave me a comment. Also, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye. Whoa, oh, oh. Da, 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 oh.